31 degrees in Frankfurt at the moment. I did not expect to be this hot at all. Definitely gonna get a tan here. Check out my hotel room. So modern and fancy. Look at the wallpaper. Rubik's Cube. Sudoku. You know. Not bad of a view as well. Oh, and there's AC. It's so hot outside. 31 degrees. And I'm sweating. Dripping everywhere. Yo, this place is so modern hip, it even has a USB port. Check out what I bought from the supermarket. Black and white local German beer. Coconut filling chocolate. I think it's liquidy as well, so this will be interesting. Pepperoni crisps. And then you need this hammer hand with your beer. And water. Oswart's shop. This contains 4% alcohol. I don't think it's beer. I think it's cider. This time I can't say it just tastes like beer. Cause it's cider.
Good morning. Day two in Frankfurt. It's half ten in the morning and there's no one on the streets at the moment. It's completely empty. There's a bubble tea around the corner from my hotel called Come By. I got the ultimate QQ milk tea. 50% sugar, 50% ice. I'm gonna get some more tomorrow before I leave. So Frankfurt is a major financial hub. It's also home to the Central European Bank. And much of the city was damaged during the World War II and it was rebuilt later on. Rauenberg, the center of Frankfurt's old town. It means Roman mountains in German, but was reconstructed after the Second World War. Eisener Stig, also known as the Iron Bridge in English. The bridge was built back in 1868. It's roughly 170 meters in length, with two pillars built in Gothic Revival style. In the final days of the Second World War, the Eisener Stig blew up, but then in 1946, roughly a year later, the bridge was built by the government. In the middle of the bridge, there's a sign that's inscribed in Greek, symbolizing humanity's desire to cross the oceans and meet people who speak in different languages. The main tower was built in the late 1990s. This tower is the fourth tallest building in Germany and is the only skyscraper with a public viewing in Frankfurt. There's 56 stories on the tower and you'll take the elevator on the 54th floor and you'll walk two stories up to reach the observation platform. Inside the Flemish Hotel, there is a Paternoster elevator. These elevators are very rare, you don't see them often. They're invented back in the 19th century. So the design of the elevator himself is two elevators with no doors that are shifting around. The elevator was designed during the Victorian era. They're rare for multiple reasons. One, of course, safety. Another reason is the maintenance and repair. It's very costly. Time to head back out for dinner. Let's go.
right, so that's it for now. Next month, next vlog, next video, Luxembourg. See you there.